Brian, uh, first of all, what is the latest on your injury? I'm uh, going for surgery next week uh, on a trapped nerve. And uh, I, as, of yet, as of the moment, I don't know exactly how long it's going to keep me out, but you know, potentially up to six months. So it's uh, not an ideal situation, but something that I've known over the, over the course of the last kind of two or three weeks. And uh, it became fairly uh, you know, um, necessary post-World Cup that I just couldn't, couldn't carry on the way I was feeling uh, for the rest of the season, so something needed doing. So, like, it, surgery was an absolute necessity, was it? Yeah, it's not even just a necessity for rugby, it's a necessity for comfort in you know, general day-to-day things. Um, it just, you know, lying on, on in a particular position for too long gets uncomfortable and um, you know, things like pins and needles, so it's... It's uh, yeah. It's not just from a point of view of solely getting back to play some rugby. If it, it makes it easier to get it done because it's uh, it's a quality life thing as well as uh, a playing ball thing. And how long has this been affecting you for? I suppose it probably goes back to the the Six Nations um, this year, and um, it's come it comes at, at different times. That whether it be when I'm in the contact area or um, or whether someone kind of hits you uh, unbeknownst to you whether it be off the ball or you know, once or twice I got hit by one of my own teammates coming from behind and it's just that jolt factor that um, you know it's a loss of pain and and you know that stinging sensation uh, there's there's a, you know it, it's not just a case of dealing with the pain factor it's when you lose power and you're not much good to your teammates for two or three minutes until it comes back it's just when you're when you're symptomatic, uh, you know, 24/7. It's it's not ideal. So it's a case of just trying to fix that and uh, and make sure that you know for for my, the rest of my days, you know, besides my rugby days, I'm uh, I don't have those symptoms again. Yeah, I mean, for as you say, you know, it's obviously something that has been affecting you for for a while. And you know, six months. How do you feel about being out of the game for that length of time? That's hugely disappointing. But I've I've been able to come to terms with it's not a huge shock that I found out yesterday about it I had a fair idea that something that was going to need doing um, and yeah it is it's it's hard because you know I'm, I'm not getting any younger and I, I want to uh, t- to be able to play you know as, as much time as I can over the next couple of years but uh, this is part and parcel of being a professional rugby player you got to deal with the good uh, with the bad as much as you you, you get to you know to enjoy the good so um, yeah, it's, you you just have to remain as positive as possible and do the, the rehab as best you best you can. I've been out for six months before and I came back stronger than ever so I don't see any reason why this time around I can't do likewise. Exactly, I mean every fan <coughs> in Leinster and Ireland will hope that um, this won't be a career threatening injury. No, I hope not. Um, you know, I've been given pretty good odds of, uh, of coming back from it so um, provided there aren't any symptoms uh, post rehab I don't see any reason why I wouldn't carry on certainly for another year anyway and you know, we'll worry about, uh, about that time when it comes to it. I think at the moment it's difficult because I'm waiting for the operation and the motivation is a bit difficult to try and keep training in a way knowing that you know you're you're going to uh, you know you're going to be going under the knife but as soon as that does happen um, I'll be able to um, focus on the rehab side of things and get myself back into the best possible shape when that um, when that date does come and of course you don't know yet but do you reckon you'll see some action this season at all you know towards the latter stages or what's your feeling on that it's, just, it's really hard to call at the minute um, you know, a lot of different people. I think it, you know could it could stretch potentially beyond the six month mark. Um, so you know that could that could possibly be the season. But also um, you know I've heard a guy coming back before that. So it's it's all to do with uh, how obviously the 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 rehab goes and uh, and and how things mend uh, within there. And the surgeon is is extremely experienced and um, he's done countless. Um, types of these operations in the past so you know I'm going to the best so every chance of of um, getting back into the shape that uh, I'd hope to be back in.